to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for our daily message for Monday, January the 31st, 2022. And without further ado, we're getting right into the Love Bird bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. Angels, what is going on? With the lovebirds, we have the divine masculine and portals. Yes, where do we play in nature? That's where the garden gate will take us there. This, this soulmate union, this, yes, this is a soulmate union that you are with your soulmate. And I feel like you guys are feeling each other um, when you're not even around each other. You guys are, you have the spiritual link today where you can read each other's thoughts, all right? So be mindful of that. If you don't want them knowing what you're thinking, kind of, yeah, keep that, keep that portal closed, okay? Because you are feeling their thoughts and they are feeling yours. That's a very powerful connection, if you will. All right, now let's move on to singles looking for love. Angels, we're looking for high vibrations for singles. Hmm. Thank you and thank you. Angels, joy for singles. We have soulmate and you have portals too. Oh my gosh. Where do we play in nature? That's where the garden gate will take you there. There is soulmate energy around you today. They know it and you know it. So, you know, enjoy that. Okay. You're like, where, where? Well, it's the person that, you know, you end up at the same place at the same time. You text each other at the same time. Things of that nature. Things that the synchronicities will show you where your soulmate is today. Now, moving on to, yes, 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 positive energy for everyone that is right here with me. Angels, what is going on? Hmm. Let's thank you. And there we go. Let's move on to, mm-hmm. There, oh, there we go, my mama's deck. And yes, 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 the dragon's deck. Nice. And we are, let's see here. Let's top it off with the hummingbird deck. Thank you and, and thank you. And of course, of course, we are looking for, mm-hmm, we are looking for the spiritual message for the day, and that is obstacle. But let's take a peek to see where this obstacle is showing up. So as our feet hit the ground, we have the four of swords. We have done a lot of praying, a lot of meditating. And now with the four of, with the nine of pentacles, I feel like that had to do with our resources or things of value. Now with the queen of swords, we are actually going in a way less forceful and more kind of peaceful, if that makes sense. Like we're not pushing anything. We're letting it come to us naturally when it comes to the resources. And the more you don't push, the more it lands in your lap. There is a renewal coming. And I feel like that renewal has to do with a few people in your life. And I feel with the King of Hearts, that is, um, I feel like, I feel like this person may have something to do with your resources. The, by the end of the day, I, I'm picking up that whatever obstacle you had in reference to this person, it's kind of swept away by not pushing, by not um, forcing an issue, especially when it comes to uh, um, income or, or abundance. What It's like this person and abundance are kind of, you know, meshed together, if you will, and they are coming back around by the end of the day. So this obstacle, it's kind of only like a speed bump. You'll get over it by not pushing, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.